Gran Turismo 7, but the perfect car doesn't exist. Oh, it would appear like normally I am wrong. Welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Now, this was suggested a little while ago, but I am very excited about this one. I promise. Oh, it looks so good. This one is one you're going to want to get. It's cheap and extremely good. In fact, as of the day of filming, you can get the Sylvia Qs right here for 30 grand. It's cheap. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't know the context behind mine. I apparently already have it and I've already wide bodied it. But it's not even particularly bad. I've got 138 horsepower and I've put soft tires on it. I'm a wide body. <laughs> what the hell was I thinking? Clearly, I was prepared to try this thing out. Now, unfortunately, the ultra high RPM turbocharger is not available, but we do have the high end. Now, the reason I'm showing you this, I'm not going to spend the money. 191 horsepower is what we get from this. So you're probably looking at three, 400 horsepower if you fully upgrade this thing. But don't <laughs> go to the engine swap. It takes the car from really good to what the f why did i buy this before all right <laughs> i don't know why but this guy in the bob i always think he looks a little bit like beady john cena right <laughs> Three hundred thousand gets you one thousand and thirty seven horsepower what <laughs> inline four cylinder no 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 ls7 let's go this is ridiculous this is probably the most insane engine swap with a spar why did it take me so long? There's genuine excitement in my bones. This is ridiculous. And that's, of course, ignoring the fact we're not going to get the ultra high RPM turbo on there. It's a big, lazy boy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently, always just do the opposite of what I do. That's the best way to do it. Clearly, I know absolutely nothing about cars. Uh, I, I was, didn't want to admit it, guys, but unfortunately... This is the case. You get carbon ceramics. Okay, right. Well, we can't do the manifold. It's already race car, right? That's that's ultimately where we are. No, what am I? <sighs> Why do I do this? Now, the reason this is such a special car is when I went to buy my Toyota Supra. Here's a picture. I do miss it. It's beautiful, but it was, it was lifeless. Anyway, they talked about something called the golden ratio. And essentially, the golden ratio is... I thought he had racing soft. Ultimately, it could mean anything you want it to. But in this context for the Supra, it meant the power to length ratio. It's quite a short car. The wheelbase, the, the, the width of it. That's what they were talking about, the golden ratio. However, the golden ratio in my heart is, yeah, the, the, the wheel, you know, small car, good. But more important than that, the golden ratio should mean more power than weight. I say the golden ratio. That is a, is a ratio for death. Uh, but I don't think anyone would ever say this is a bad idea. They would be like, Theo, you should have done this sooner. Why are you drawing on track? Get on track. And I would say, chill out. We need to spec. We haven't customized it yet. I put a wide poly on it and nothing on it. I've driven it five miles. And like, be real with me. Gran Turismo is one of those games that for some reason, the menus are just as amazing, like exciting as actually playing. If not, sometimes more exciting. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I can't explain it, but I, I don't know why either. I haven't customized. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm going to need a minute. Oh, she's sexy. Need some wheels. I, I, I want to go for a different uh, set of wheels. Let's go wide, wide, and 14 is too small. Those look beautiful especially when we slam it to the ground and ruin every uh performance characteristic this thing had put the proper lights on cool <laughs> literally we've got the nissan silvia on the front we don't need that but unfortunately it's got this ugly plinth in the middle that ruins the aesthetic of my car i didn't know we could do this is that a skyline it's an r32 let's go <laughs> i don't know i kind of like the standard one if i'm if i'm totally honest it looks beautiful and I, calipers. Yeah, I definitely knew he could do that. Completely hadn't just left my brain. You know, I, I really wish every car I potentially wanted to buy was in this game because it would really just help me because the paint colors and stuff you can decide on, so nice, so nice. We got the TVR color, very cool. I do like that purple. You know, I don't know if it looks much different than the color I had. <laughs> so I thought it would be nice to jump in and just go for it in a competitive race. I've put 250 on the gearbox because I thought, you know, that sounds about right. Uh, I'm not expecting insanity. Not at all, no. 
my wheel's not connected. <laughs> Genuinely, guys, I actually, I actually do that pretty much every time, but I, uh, I cut it out because <laughs> I'm stupid as hell. Right. Anyway, here we go. Oh, oh, who would have thought that this car actually feels fast? <laughs> How dare you? Whoa! Shit. So just for context, we have the best tires available uh, on this car. <laughs> and uh, I am just, you know, casually putting my foot down because ultimately I think it deserves it. it. We need to hear this thing. <sighs> Race car gearbox, very, very cool. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not sure what I expected. 1200 plus horsepower with 900 kgs. I put some body rigidity in here because it definitely uh, it will it will provide advantage to us. I'm braking. I was full braking. That was i wasn't going that fast waiting for the comments people like oh he's, he's crashing on purpose can you can, hello have you seen the power of this thing that i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna shut up <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's happening i'm just oh my time <laughs> okay, i'm in fifth gear i was like my tires just spinning and making no noise whatsoever okay i'm gonna put uh Oh, I'm sweating. I'm going to put a little bit of traction on there because this is death, uh, honestly. Oh, my God. Oh, it's scary. It's actually scary. I need to, I need to do top speed tests. I can hear the tires squealing. Even though I'm in the in the cockpit view and I've got traction control on three, I hear the limit to the tires being just destroyed. <laughs> this is the best car I have built yet. However, I do keep saying that. I feel like I keep saying that every single time we build a new car. But you know what? put the brake pads on i swear i put the brake pads on how am i losing it i'm gonna put traction on five it's fighting for his damn life the car surely i put the pads on i need to let this thing breathe it's just i'm making my own road pretty safe to say this is Speechless, except I'm saying someone, some people speechless means they just babble sh and me potty mouth has come out apparently. I, disgusting. Swearing is bad. <laughs> I have to break all the way over here. Like I was flat breaking the whole time there. So yeah, I would say this is a car you need to buy. It is. Ah. Uh, you know what I was saying about the golden ratio? I think the golden ratio might be weight horsepower level. Not the, <laughs> not horsepower. You know what? It doesn't matter. We're going to put this thing on a straight line. Let's put NOS on it first, actually. See, it shows how little I know about big old Murica engines. Because I, I looked at it and I thought, oh, it's going to be, a, you know, V8. It's going to rev very high. It's not going to be particularly exciting. And, you know, I'll put the turbo on it and that'll make it faster. And it was told that I would get up there and more horsepower than weight but at the same time it's just not what i had in mind i have no expectations whatsoever for this spin why do i need another gr86 maybe there's a good engine swap hey i'm for it and i didn't get it wrong i called it gr86 i can't believe it. i'm so proud of myself gimme 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 sapphire blue very cool did i have one of these 
Apparently not. Maybe I got the BRZ. I think the BRZ is nicer. Toyota in the bin. Once you're in for speed, then I'll stop saying that. Did I forget the brake pads? Right. So, uh, no. Essentially, this car will kill you. The steering angle. Uh, yep. <laughs> And hydro, uh, yeah, let's boost up that nitrous power just a little bit and uh, jump straight in and see what this thing can do. Now I'm on a race just because uh, the fact that I need to, I'm gonna put a little bit of traction on there. <laughs> because I, uh, you can't use NOS. Holy crap. I'm actually scared on a time trial because that would be unfair. All right found the NOS button. I've run out of gears already. I think I put it at like 460 kilometers. We are running out of juice. I mean gears. That's the problem. Look at the miles just rolling up. That looks so sick. All right, I'm already, nah. <laughs> Attempt number two. 270 and it felt like, I don't even know what. So that was 440 KPH. Okay, in that case, yeah, th th there's your answer. Uh. 500? Well, that's like what? 300 miles an hour? Surely. Three something. Low threes. Here we go, baby. I'll learn it one day. I will learn the conversion. I promise you. That's my that's my homework. Though learning is difficult when your brain throws information out at the rate of a fish. All right, fifth gear, 280. We're already limiting. Uh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's just shy of. Maybe I should extend the final gear instead of just doing all of them. But we're about to hit 290. Downhill, we will pass, surely pass 300 miles an hour. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Will the baboon do it? Here we go! Oh! 300! Come on! <laughs> 300! And one! <laughs> That's what we're getting. <laughs> what would happen if I... That. He's fighting for his life in the cabin. So that should have been 310 miles an hour at 500 kilometers. Yeah, I can do stuff with the suspension and blah, 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 blah. But listen, this is a speedy man build. Let's jump up to that and then go to manual adjustment and maybe extend even further the final gear. <laughs> Still quick. No problem there. Into fifth. It is so much slower. <laughs> Build it up. But you know, it gives us the room. We got that boost. 280 already. What? Climbing up the hill. 300. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, ho, 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 ten. 310 up the hill with a bit of boost. And then down. Oh, we're hitting the limits. 320! <laughs> 322 miles an hour! <laughs> Maybe I sell the skyline and... Uh... <laughs> now, we need to do a bit of a slide. Now, the, the, the particular problem... I said I would order the buttons for my other uh, circular wheel right there. I haven't done that. So, uh, I want, as per usual... <laughs> I'm drifting with this. I'm a little bit afraid in that I have way too much power. Uh, this is actually a drift trial event. I uh, don't normally... Oh, I've got traction on. What the hell? I didn't ask for that. Thank you very much. Just for... Oh, come on! For context, I, uh, <laughs> I still have the, the grippy tires on. <laughs> My God. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I'm, I'm worried that it, <laughs> it's a combination of too grippy and has too much power. This is a problem. Uh, front. Come on. Go. Uh, please count that. <laughs> Please. Please stop booing at me. Yeah, 100 points. Stop booing at me. No. <laughs> Oh, give me those 800 points! 500 points! Stop burning! Oh. Okay. 
Come on. Come on, just a... is uh, 13 million points. Congratulations to me. Uh, congratulations to you because you get to watch this incredible video. It's also very related to this one because I'm big brain. Smash like, subscribe and peace. Please don't bully me.